So now I'm going to talk about weldments in Inventor. <clears throat> so if I was going to start a weldment from scratch, I'd go to New, Weldment. I can also convert it. So if I go to, so I start a regular assembly here, I go to Environments, I can convert it to the weldment. Say so yes, ANSI standard, OK. So now it's converted to a weld mode. And so now you can see, over here on the side, I've got a couple new options. I've got an option, a thing called pre preparations. I've got one called welds. I've got one called machining. <clears throat> and then I've got the end of the that and then I have my parts in the assembly. <clears throat> so, and I've got my new ribbon up here. We've got preparation as well as machining, and a bunch of stuff is grayed out. So, let's say I want to add a fillet weld right here. Do I need to do anything ahead of time to make it so I can do a, do a weld there? Just brush it, but I don't have to do any machining or grinding on it or anything. Because that's what the preparations is. That's like adding a chamfer on something so you can get it weld in or something. So I don't need to do any of that here. So I'm going to go right to welds. And then I'm going to fill it well. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> so these are my surfaces. So I'm going to pick that as surface one. And then that and that as surface two. See, it's putting in where the weld is. Tell it how big I want that to be. I can change my intermittency, so do I want it, how long do I want, I want, my, weld, my, want my weld, and then what's the space between them? I can change my contour. Change the benching method of it. Um, I want this to go all around. Do I want it to go all the way, or do I want to offset it some? So maybe start an eighth inch from each end. in here because I like to have the tail of my goal symbol. And there we go. How come it didn't read the the undersurface of it? What undersurface? Right there. Here? Yeah. Because I didn't tell it to do it on this side. But is it, I thought we just picked oh okay I got if you. I you picked each for individual. For surface edge. two if I picked that also. Then that was, um Oh, because I did on this surface here. But if I did one there, no. I'd have to do that separate well. It's a separate edge anyways. Um, yeah. I'll just put it in a separate one. So I can just go fill it here. One, two. Do 
with Phil Weld right there? No. No. And you do a groove weld, right? But I don't have any space to weld. So I'm going to go to preparations. See, it's highly the preparations now. And now I can go in and do a chamfer. Now I have space. But that's probably a little bit too much. I don't need this part <coughs> chamfer here. So I could go in and do a sketch here. So just extrude a little cut in there so that now I have space for my weld. And I just drew it on the side there. And I did it as a preparation because now that's not going to show up on the part. So if I go back to that part, it's not there. So that's something that the welder is going to do before he welds it. So it's not going to be part of the machined part. If they're going to machine it when they machine the rest of the part, then it'd be under the regular part. But if it's something that the welder's going to do himself, do it as preparation. So I'm going to go to welds. You're, and saying, I'll do a you're saying the welder's going to make the cut? Yeah. That's practice. He needs to do a groove weld. He'll take a grinder, grind the chamfer onto it in the spot he needs, and then weld it up. Um, um, sometimes I'll have it machined into it. Other times, welder can do it real quick. Instead of refix drain it on the mill, have the welder just come in and take the edge off. So now what do I want to do? I want to pick. I have three options. I have to face set one, face set two, and fill direction. So face set one, I want to pick that. Two, I want to pick that, and then direction. This is how am I going to connect those two surfaces? So I always just kind of pick that edge that's going between them. Now you can see where it's picked it. If I had picked that as a different angle, so if I, I could pick. No, that's not um, yeah, there's no other angles here for me to, to pick. See how, how low of an angle that is. So, but that's not what I want. I want that. So there, you've always got some kind of either two points there or an edge you can pick to make it tell which direction to go. And I'm say okay. And then that there's that group ball. Okay. So then we return. Now I've got the part here. Can I ask a question? Yep. Um, at that corner. To right here? Yeah. Yeah, it's ugly. Okay, can you fix it? Um, let's see. Um, let's go to face at one. Pick that piece there. And that's kind of better. Not really. Now. 
one, do all three of those cases. I can do those two. I can back. the size of it. Yeah, it doesn't want it to that corner and it's got that little piece for some reason. So you just kind of Not perfect. But it's better than not showing any well. Which on according to standard you don't you're not you don't really have to show welds. Um, if you're draw, so drawing it in two D you don't you don't you never show welds. You just show the parts and you tell it where the weld to put on it. So this is more for representation. Um, and and, I'll, and I haven't seen where standards address this yet. But you just kind of make it look look kind of like what you want it to. The welder knows how to weld. He's not going to go, oh, I need to stop it right there. He's going to run the bead out. So if you wanted to, you could go in and pick another piece there so it kind of looks a little nicer. Maybe if I had, had that as a that's mainly for cosmetic. Yeah. And so that when you're in, in a, when you have that symmetric view on the drawing, you can see where the walls are. That's, that's basically the benefit of this. And you can see there is this cosmetic wall here. And that this, that's what this one is. This one's kind of the traditional well. For now, you go to cosmetic. Pick an edge. And then you put in a symbol for it. So go it well. Convex. So it puts the symbol there. But you don't get any you don't get any representation of it. Tell me what type of weld. So the length of the weld, volume. If you didn't give me the that groove, I don't know why. Uh, so. All right, second so return. Okay. So that's that's adding weld. So one of the things that we lost about a weeks ago was on sheet metal.
doing that, loading that up. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to go to new involvement. We'll place it. So this is going to be a one part assembly. So we just put that one part into the assembly. And now we can go back into weld and weld that. So what kind of weld is that going to be? Groove. Yeah, it's going to be a groove. So that's phase one. That's phase two. Now for our fill direction, we want to go from that corner to that corner. Still kind of weird right there. Okay, at least the bottom's blocked in now. Okay, that's something that the waller is gonna. He knows how to do it. He's not gonna grind it like that. He's gonna make it one nice wall. So that's kind of the difference between the drawing and reality. And then you just have to do that on every corner. What was that? Can you mirror it? No. <coughs> now you have to redo it. You have to make sure you get all the faces on it. And by doing the full face, it automatically picks the direction. You don't have to pick it. It goes pretty quick. Just bam, bam, bam. Okay. And if I change this, this joint type down there, That's a lot nicer. So that's how I can control a bit more too. So questions on weldments? On the sheet metal, the, can't you uh, join those? Join those two pieces of metal together. Was that like a like a like a, uh, a rabbit cut or anything? I mean, like those two edges. Does it have to have a gap when you do the sheet metal? Yeah. Is there a command where we you can you don't need the weld? You don't need the weld in the corner. Wait. See how you you you, re, you made the uh, the profile, but see the uh, there's no way you can close that gap without the weld. Well, you can make the touch. Yeah. But it's not gonna be one piece. It's all stolen. Oh, but just because. Because it's sheet metal, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. You, in order to make those join, you have to weld. So if you want it to be strong, you have to weld that, that joint there. And you always want some gap there to get your tools in now. If you had no gap there, then it would be hard to do. And even with this, this tear here, that just puts a lot of stress right here. And, and it's a weak spot. So that's why we usually do some kind of relief in there. So when they're bending it, it's not cracking. Steel, you can kind of get away with a little bit. Aluminum, you better have relief in it. Especially if you use like six <coughs> three, since it's a little harder, it'll it'll crack, and you'll have a crack that goes across the whole piece. Anything else? What's cosmetic? I just showed it. It's it's just the symbol. It doesn't actually put in any weld. 
It should be anti-cosmetic <laughs> because it, it doesn't put anything that, that looks good in there. And then the machining is if you did a weld and you want to machine part of it off, you do the machining off. Or any machine after you do the weld.